So we look at the women's team standing. Seven of 17 events are complete. And Arkansas, we should just, here, this is, they are powered by their distance group. And right now, they're sitting third. They're just kind of on the shoulder of Old Miss and Georgia. And they're ready to blow by them here when the time comes. And with the women's mile to start, uh, Dwight, the time has come. It certainly has. The collegiate record holder, Jenny Berenger, now Simpson, maybe our finest middle distance runner running in the last decade. Dominique Scott of Arkansas has the meet record. There are 10 athletes in this final. Arkansas has half the field. So they're certain to score a boatload of points led by this young lady, their senior, Chris, Chrissy Gear. She was second at this distance a year ago. There's Amaris Tanizma. If anybody hopes to break up that dominance of Arkansas, she's somebody who certainly can. She's ranked number three in the nation, number two in the SEC with a 433. She was second just a couple weeks ago here at the Tyson Invitational. Alabama going with their crimson today. They were in white in the preliminaries. Here's how they will line up. Look at all that Arkansas on that board. As I mentioned, 25 total finalists on the track today. Five of them right here in the women's mile. They will start in those groups. Three on the outside, seven on the inside. Stay in, their lane, in that group through the first two turns and then break for the pole in the home stretch. In the men's mile, we saw a new SEC record and a number of other fantastic marks come out of that earlier session. Let's see what we can come up with here in the evening session. Two milers under 359. It was a rarity to see four minutes broken in the SEC mile final, usually a tactical affair. And Denisma sharing the lead early. Now, now Van Camp of Arkansas taking the lead in earnest. And we'll watch for the pace. Still a bit of a bunched up field. Imogene Barrett of Florida with the six on her thigh, all from, also from Australia. So you know when you see them bunching up like that and looking for room to run to the outside that the pace is not terribly blistering. About 70 for the first lap, so not terrible but certainly everybody in it. Then Cap, Tanisma, Barrett, the top three. Lauren Gregory of Arkansas also up there along with Presley Weems of Auburn. Wouldn't sleep on Barrett in there. I, I'm not sure she's in peak fitness, but she of course won the 2019 1500 meters outdoor, so she certainly has uh, the bona fides to compete up there up front. Right there in third, her coach Chris Solinsky, who said that she's not in peak fitness, but we're going to try to figure out a race plan that maybe gives her a shot. Well, this race pace, I think, will probably give her a shot here. Definitely picking up. As Gracie Hyde of Arkansas races up from back in the pack to take over the leading duties. And with five of the 10 athletes in the race, Arkansas obviously can run some team tactics. That was a slow second 400, 222.7 at the half. Right at about 450 pace, 455 pace. So we're not looking for a championship record, but it could be a heck of a race with, with the runners with the speed in this race. This is just perfect for them. Now Maris Tanisma of Alabama now taking over the lead. She did the same thing in her preliminary. A whole lot of Arkansas up front. There goes Imogene Barrett. And the next five athletes are from Arkansas. 
Now the next four. A lot of scoring potential there with four of the six up front Razorbacks. Lauren Gregory, the 2019 champ. So in all of these 17 women's events, if you count the relays, there are 13 returning champions in this meet. A lot of experience. So Tanisma really starting to push the pace. They're going to make him kick it in from way out. Already dropping a couple of Arkansas runners back. It's just Chrissy Gear and Lauren Gregory up front now for the Razorbacks. Laura Gregory looks like she's still got a lot of running. Her legs very comfortable. Chrissy here as well. Imogene Barrett's starting to fall off the pace. So now it's Chrissy Gear going after Tanisma. Did Tanisma make her move too soon? Gear passes before the turn, and there goes Gregory. Tanisma then kicks it into another gear. So nobody's going to catch Chrissy Gear, but can Lauren Gregory get second? Doesn't look like it. Gear wins it. It's one, three, five, seven, Arkansas. Here we see the last 100. Chrissy Gear's got a nice head of steam as she goes down that back straight, and that's exactly where you want to pass somebody on the straight and not on the turn. And when she does pass, she passes decisively. She's got the leg turnover. And what started out as a very pedestrian pace, not what shouldn't have ended as a very quick pace, they negative split this thing, and she wins in 434. Classic Arkansas style. Tanisma is second. Lauren Gregory, a strong finish for third place. Didn't miss the meet record by all that much, but it's the points that matter. One, three, five, seven for Arkansas. 22 points in the mile for the Razorbacks, John. Chris Aguirre, gee, you only moved up one spot from last year, but it seems like that makes all the difference in the world. Congratulations on the championship. Tell me how this thing played out in real time as opposed to maybe the plan you had coming in. Um, I guess I, I didn't have a plan, so, um, man, hold on, my brain's so slow right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, these are tough girlies, these are tough girlies.